in this video we are gonna have a food tour at Dubai Mall. So fresh. Look at this. Dubai is an international city. You can find international cuisine here, best of the best. Mm. I am at the first location. We are gonna start with Leto. For breakfast, I've ordered Egg Benedict. It looks very nice, very fresh with smoked salmon. Poached egg and salmon and bread, simple. Oh, it's smoked salmon, it's really high quality. And I have some friends here <laughs> waiting for food. Salmon is fresh, poached egg is just like how I want it. What is amazing about this place is this balcony. You can have your breakfast while you are watching Dubai Fountain. I couldn't stand this humidity and I came inside for the dessert. Here they have very nice, good looking and good tasting dessert. Great for Instagram. This is the tallest strawberry tart I've ever seen. Look at this. The cake is nice and the cream is not so sweet. Balanced sweetness. And the strawberries are fresh. I have the profiterole here. Very nice and tasty chocolate mousse on top of it. The cream is fresh and nice and the bread. Bread is the best part. I love this bread. Competition in Dubai is high and therefore you get better service. They try to please customers and this is one of the best Fred Espressos I've ever had. There's no limit for quality. It's, everything is high quality. It comes with a price. It's not cheap at all here, but it's worth it. Time to wake up. World's biggest aquarium at world's largest mall. I have some hot and sour chicken soup at Din Tai Fung. It's a Taiwanese chain restaurant. Mm. Ooh. So hot and spicy, delicious at the same time. Very tasty. First, this spiciness comes to your mouth, then you feel the sourness. I dip it into soya sauce mixed with ginger and then first I drink the soup, then I eat it. The soup is salty a little bit. Din Tai Fung is famous for its soup dumplings and noodles. It's a chain restaurant, very popular. This is what you want to try here, for sure. And next we have golden lava buns here. So fluffy, it's so fluffy. Mm. Very nice. What I like about this place, everything is super fresh. Mm. Look at this. Ooh. That's really fluffy, sweet, and you feel some flour in your mouth. The taste of flour comes to your mouth. The color, I think it's from yolk. That was something new and sweet, delicious for me. Thank you so much. What is better than a Turkish baklava after a good meal? Mm. Mm. Oh, so sweet, fresh, and full of pistachio, and it's super sweet. I have ordered some baklava, rice pudding, some Turkish tea. The sweetness is mild, and you don't feel the rice at all. We have Turkish tea here with Turkish lokum. You put the lokum. 
Mm. It's a very strong tea. And we have Turkish baklava here. You dip it in a sauce based on milk and sugar. Mmm. So sweet how a baklava needs to be. It's very fresh and full of pistachio. You can't imagine how much pistachio they put here. I prefer it without sauce. And with tea, it's a perfect combination after local. I'm at the last location of our food tour here in Dubai Mall. It's a Japanese restaurant, Tanuki. I have ordered one lemongrass mocktail. Very refreshing. I've ordered some edamame. So I've been with chili and garlic sauce. We have one sushi roll chili Thai. Look at the color. Mm. Oh, the taste of garlic is so strong. It's spicy at the same time, but very nice. It's a small portion, not so big. And next, I'm gonna try the sushi. Salmon is so soft, it's chilly at the same time. Mm. And what I like about this place, here has a very warm and vibrant ambience. Today we had American breakfast, French dessert, then we had Taiwanese food for lunch, and after that we had Turkish tea with Turkish dessert, and then we had Japanese cuisine for dinner. That's all for today. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Please do subscribe and like the video, and hope to see you soon in the very next episode. Peace.